There is a type of fat in your body that is far more dangerous than the fat you can see in the mirror. It doesn't immediately make your clothes feel tighter or send your weight on the scale soaring, but it silently wraps itself around your liver, heart, and intestines like a toxic armor. This is visceral fat. And the frightening part is that many people are carrying large amounts of it without realizing it because their body weight still looks normal. Visceral fat is not just stored energy. It is a highly active biological tissue that constantly releases inflammatory compounds, disrupts insulin function, damages the liver, and increases the risk of diabetes, heart disease, fatty liver, and even cancer. What confuses many people is this, they eat less. Their weight barely changes. They may even exercise regularly. Yet the scale doesn't seem to reward their effort. They assume they're failing. In reality, visceral fat may already be shrinking, just not in a way the scale can show. The truth is that visceral fat behaves very differently from subcutaneous fat. It does not disappear through extreme starvation or punishing diets. In fact, those approaches often increase stress and make the body cling to fat even harder. Visceral fat responds to very specific signals instead, inflammation levels, oxygen usage, insulin sensitivity, and consistent physical movement. And here's the good news. When you send the right signals, visceral fat can shrink faster than you might expect, sometimes even faster than the fat under your skin. But to make that happen, you need to understand the fastest path science has identified. Not the quick fix promises that damage your metabolism in the long run. Visceral fat is fundamentally different from the fat you can pinch under your skin. It does not simply sit there waiting for you to lose weight and disappear. It is an active tissue that constantly communicates with your liver, pancreas, and immune system, sending signals that drive inflammation and insulin resistance. This is why the fastest way to shrink visceral fat is not extreme calorie restriction, but changing the biological signals that visceral fat responds to most strongly. One of the most powerful signals influencing visceral fat is inflammation. When inflammation drops, visceral fat becomes far easier to release. This explains why diets rich in naturally pigmented fruits and vegetables have such a profound effect. Carotenoids found in carrots, bell peppers, spinach, and leafy greens are not just antioxidants. They actively participate in gene pathways related to fat burning, calm inflammatory responses, and help fat cells shift from storage mode to energy release. As inflammation decreases, visceral fat loses its protective grip around vital organs. Another critical factor is the body's ability to oxidize fat. Visceral fat is highly sensitive to signals that enhance fat use at the cellular level. Green tea catechins, especially in minimally processed forms like matcha, are a clear example. These compounds do not stimulate fat loss through nervous system stress. Instead, they quietly improve mitochondrial efficiency, increase fat oxidation, and reduce some fat absorption. Over time, as these pathways remain active, visceral fat begins to shrink without the need for aggressive dieting. Many people assume that weight loss automatically means visceral fat loss. In reality, visceral fat can decrease significantly even when body weight barely changes. This happens when body composition shifts, with deep internal fat decreasing while muscle mass is preserved or increased. That is why the scale is a poor tool for tracking visceral fat. You may be making meaningful progress long before the numbers reflect it. Among all lifestyle factors, physical activity has a stronger impact on visceral fat reduction than diet alone. However, the key is not how long you exercise, but what kind of signal your movement sends to your body. Moderate to vigorous aerobic activity increases oxygen demand, forcing visceral fat to be mobilized as fuel. Just a few consistent sessions per week can significantly improve insulin sensitivity and reduce deep abdominal fat. Importantly, this does not require exhausting workouts. Research shows that moderate but consistent exercise 
can reduce visceral fat dramatically, sometimes by nearly half over several months. This highlights a crucial principle. Visceral fat responds to consistency, not extremity. Short bursts of intense effort followed by burnout are far less effective than sustainable routines you can maintain. Visceral fat also tends to decrease before subcutaneous fat. This is why health markers improve, blood sugar stabilizes, and the abdomen feels lighter even when visual changes are subtle. The body prioritizes removing the most dangerous fat first because doing so improves survival quickly. Understanding this prevents frustration when the mirror does not immediately reflect internal progress. Ultimately, the fastest way to shrink visceral fat is not a single trick, but creating the right biological environment. Lower inflammation through colorful whole foods. Enhance fat oxidation with supportive compounds like catechins. And maintain consistent physical activity at an appropriate intensity. When these elements align, visceral fat shrinks as a natural biological response without forcing the body or sacrificing long-term health. If science has made one thing clear about visceral fat, it is this you cannot starve it into disappearing faster. In fact, extreme calorie restriction often sends a danger signal to the body, raising stress hormones and causing visceral fat to cling even more tightly. The body cannot tell whether you are dieting or facing a crisis. It only detects a sharp drop in energy intake and its survival response is to protect the most critical fat reserves. This is why physical activity becomes the decisive factor in shrinking visceral fat quickly and sustainably. But not all forms of movement send the same biological signal. Moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise forces the body to increase oxygen consumption. When oxygen demand rises, the body cannot rely solely on glucose. It must mobilize fat, and visceral fat is prioritized because it sits close to central organs and can deliver energy efficiently. This explains why study after study shows aerobic exercise and HIIT to be especially effective for reducing visceral fat. What's striking is that you do not need daily workouts or extreme training volumes to see results. Just two to three sessions per week, each lasting around 45 minutes at an intensity that elevates heart rate and breathing, can trigger significant changes. In several studies, participants following this routine reduced visceral fat by nearly half within a few months even when overall body weight barely changed. This demonstrates that visceral fat responds to movement signals, not scale numbers. Many people are surprised when their abdomen feels lighter and their clothes fit looser, yet the scale remains the same. This is not failure. It is body recomposition. As visceral fat decreases and muscle mass is preserved or slightly increased, total body weight may remain stable while disease risk drops dramatically. This quiet transformation is the true victory for long-term health. Another important insight is the comparison between steady aerobic exercise and high-intensity interval training. While high height is often portrayed as superior, scientific evidence shows little meaningful difference between these two approaches for visceral fat reduction. The deciding factor is not the style of exercise, but consistency. The body responds to repeated reliable signals over time, not to sporadic bursts of extreme effort followed by burnout. Increasing exercise intensity or volume can further reduce visceral fat, but only up to a point beyond that threshold. Excessive training overwhelms recovery, elevates cortisol, and once again signals the body to protect visceral fat as a defensive measure. This is why intelligent training always outperforms extreme training. Finally, it is essential to understand that visceral fat loss is not linear. You may maintain healthy habits for weeks with little visible change. Then suddenly notice rapid improvement. This delay exists because the body needs time to adjust enzymes, hormones, and fat oxidation pathways. Once this internal system is fully activated, 
visceral fat can decrease much faster than subcutaneous fat. The fastest way to shrink visceral fat is not to force weight loss, but to give the body a biological reason to release it. Consistent movement at appropriate intensity, combined with anti-inflammatory nutrition and sufficient recovery, creates the environment where visceral fat naturally recedes. When you do this correctly, the body changes in ways no extreme diet ever could. When the right biological signals come together, visceral fat does not just decrease, it decreases in a far more sustainable way than with traditional weight loss methods. The key is understanding that visceral fat does not disappear because you force your body to change, but because your body recognizes that it no longer needs that protective layer. When inflammation drops, insulin sensitivity improves, oxygen is used efficiently, and movement becomes consistent. Visceral fat loses its purpose in the body's survival strategy. One major reason many people fail is that they focus on only one piece of the puzzle. They exercise diligently but eat in a way that promotes inflammation. Or they eat well but remain sedentary. Or they do both yet suffer from chronic sleep deprivation. The body does not respond to isolated effort. It responds to alignment. When conflicting signals occur simultaneously, the body chooses safety and holds on to visceral fat. In contrast, when these factors move in the same direction, the body responds quickly. After just a few weeks of consistent movement, anti-inflammatory nutrition, and proper recovery, many people notice their abdomen feels lighter, bloating decreases, breathing feels easier, and energy levels remain stable throughout the day. These changes often appear before any significant drop on the scale because visceral fat is being reduced first. This is a sign that the body is prioritizing internal health over immediate visual change. This also explains why tracking progress solely by weight or mirrors can be misleading. Visceral fat is hidden deep inside the body and its reduction may not be obvious at first glance. However, Biological markers such as blood sugar, blood pressure, waist circumference, and daily energy improve rapidly. These indicators are far more reliable than a number on the scale. Another critical factor is biological patience. The body needs time to reprogram metabolic pathways that may have been disrupted for years. During this process, visceral fat decreases in phases rather than at a steady daily rate. There may be periods where progress seems to stall, but internally, the body is recalibrating. Once that adjustment is complete, visceral fat loss can accelerate unexpectedly. Shrinking visceral fat as fast as possible does not mean doing everything faster. It means doing everything correctly. When you consistently send signals that energy is sufficient, stress is controlled, and movement is a natural part of life the body will automatically release the most dangerous fat it carries. And when visceral fat decreases, not only does your waistline change, but the foundation of your long-term health improves in a lasting and meaningful way. If you're working hard to reduce belly fat but the scale hasn't changed much, don't get discouraged. Visceral fat may already be shrinking silently inside, improving your health long before visible changes appear the key is maintaining the right biological signals, consistent movement, anti-inflammatory nutrition, proper sleep, and avoiding extreme calorie restriction. When you do this correctly, your body naturally releases its most dangerous fat without force. If you'd like me to share more practical strategies to shrink visceral fat faster or how to track progress without relying on the scale, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the next video.